Good day. This is part five of the Mud Runner editor tutorial. We're doing scenery. This is part three of scenery. We're going to add water to the map. How we add water to the map is one of the first things I was messing around with this, so I'll delete the stuff that I did. Um, one of the things we need to do is I'm first going to um, draw myself a little reference by using a tint to do that as to where I want my little river to be and first we want a place for it to start And then we want a place for it to end. So this is just my reference right now. I'm happy with that. So we'll do that there. And then what we want to do is we want to change the geometry of it. And you want to make sure this is on height and supposedly the value the lower the value the deeper the hole higher the value the more height it's going it's going to add height to the ground um the more you cover an area the more the deeper it's going to get and i sometimes use the wire frame for this because it really helps but to start out i'm just going to use my reference here and I'm going to go down to uh, about 28 and start digging a hole we'll use the wire frame now see how that is can also look under the ground to see how deep it is and holy crap that's too deep so we're going to bring the height back up in the middle there you don't want Oh, uh, yeah, thing there. So we'll check that out now. That's all right. We're going to take it down over there. We'll straighten the depth out a little later. But for right now, that's good enough for me to start out with and then we're going to kind of follow our guide here we don't want to make it too deep so we're going over it pretty quickly Turn the wire frame off because we don't need it. And I turn the grid off because I don't want the outside grid. That's actually helpful. 
Then what we need to do is add rivers to it. I'm going to put it this way. The numbers on it do matter a bit because um, the numbers we're going to get into eventually how to create the flow of the river and the numbers help with that. Like it starts at zero and ends at one. So that's what the uh, numbers are all about. Numbers also help you locate the river. Change the height of this a little bit. Actually, going to change the height of this end a little bit yet. I don't want to want it quite that deep over there. We need to straighten that height out, so what we'll do is we'll use the wire frame again, go in the geometry height, we'll make it uh, somewhere around 50, and we'll flatten that out. It's actually taking it down, so I'm going to change the height and make it higher and we'll see how that is that looks a, bit, a little better a little better Basically, you get the idea. This is how you uh, put around with this, but I'm gonna add this other stuff to it quickly. Kind of make it kind of sort of how I want it, and then I'll go in with the. geometry tool and smooth it out a bit but that's how to add rivers I'm gonna mess around with it myself and continue it on the guide of the tint that I made if you can find a better way to do this go for it uh, I'm not claiming to be an expert on this um, I'm learning myself so if you can comment and give me some info to help me out I'm only making these videos to share what I know. So, this is what I know. I'm going to futz around with this for a bit while this up video uploads. And then we'll come back and we'll get into how to make the river flow. Catch you next one.